Another day, another hive in a shed floor. This is a real common problem. I come in and smoke the bees to chill them out, give them some heavy smoke, and then I gotta figure out where these bees are. They're in this shed floor. I use my thermal camera to find the surface temperature of where the bees are attaching, and then I mark it out so I can cut it and bring in the old trusty circular saw, skill saw, and make my cuts. I try to be as clean as I can and tidy with it. Uh, not always perfect. It is a shed floor and I am going to button it up when I'm done. But I use the Sawzall to come in and finish off those cuts at the corners and then I blow everything off, make it nice and clean. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> star bits. It's those star bits. So I had to run to Home Depot. Here I am with my new bit that I got at Home Depot and then getting those star bits out. I didn't want to break it up so bad so I just went ahead and got that bit and here are the bees holy smokes a nice big hive and I know I'm at the back of the hive here because I'm in the honey and I'm at the edge of the hive and I know it from my thermal picture so I like to use a little honey bandit and pour it on a little rag there to encourage the bees away from the back of the hive sometimes they'll run to the dark so I want to push them toward the front and uh, so that I can get as many bees as I can. You can see some of them have kind of absconded and they're running away and kind of hanging on the wall there. Um, I'll be vacuuming them up and then just getting all this, as uh, many bees as I can really. I'm trying to find the queen. I always look for the queen. I don't have the greatest queen eyes in the world. I get lucky sometimes and uh, just kind of keep an eye out for her. Here is the big part of the hive. Whoa, this is a mess. And these bees have been there a long time. That comes real dark. Lots of brood. So she is a good queen. Hopefully I can find her. But I'm looking, this is the stuff I want. I'm taking this and putting it in frames and bringing that to their new hive. So this is the brood comb, the babies. This is the good stuff. So shaking the bees off a little bit and looking for the queen as I go. Now these are nurse bees that are hanging on the brood. These are inside the hive bees. These are the bees I want. They're gonna take care of the new hive when I move them. So I'm gonna take this big old mess here and shake any bees off of it, take it outside, clean it off. And then really from here, it's searching for the queen and a cleanup. Lots of honey in here, lots more brood. Um, all stuff that I'm going to take and feed back to the bees or use in their new hive. And lots to do here. <laughs> These are tiring, uh, a lot of work, but I, I enjoy shed floors. It's pretty easy access. I have good luck with them. They tend to be a little feisty. The bees that tend to go toward the ground tend to be a little more feisty in my experience, but that doesn't bother me. I'll requeen them down the road. So here's out in front of the hive. And be vacuuming up bees and this is what it looks like at the end lots of comb lots of junk comb too and then i cover it back up i cut a piece of plywood and tack it in there now back in new Braunfels, i take a bit of that comb that good brood comb and fit it into medium-sized frames this is something that bees will go to i'll give them some other frames with wax i'll give them a little juicy juice this is one-to-one -one sugar water it kind of gives them a little encouragement food to get them started. I'll splash a little on the hive to entice them in. I'm just trying to make it downright hospitable for these bees. Now they here they come. They're coming out of the back. I shake a little on the top looking for the queen. Look how flighty they are. They're just taking off everywhere. These bees are not happy being transported a half an hour from San Antonio to New Braunfels, Texas. So these bees are looking at them, they're, they're kind of like orienting, right? They're like, hmm, what's this? This looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the bees and dump them out front. And then this is the fun part. I get to watch them do the bee march and I'll speed it up a little bit because you can really see that action of the bees going into their home. I check back on these bees a few days later and they're doing just fine. So here I'm going to take this board away and just set them up next to their new sisters and they'll go to work. 